What's up everybody? In today's video, we go deep sea fishing and we show you how to catch mangrove snapper, the exact rig we use, as well as catching live ballyhoo for bait. Then I'm going to show you how to clean a mangrove snapper. And in the cooking with pudding segment, we're doing a new cooking technique I've never done before. Wok fried, whole snapper. It's time to follow our dreams. Let's go fishing. Good morning, Los Angeles Nation. Good morning, y'all. Well, I'm excited to go fishing because today can only be better than yesterday. We have been, first off, it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Yes. Um, I think you're gonna probably get this after New Year's Day. But uh, we have been having a horrible time. A boat broke down three times in a row. Yep. There's so much fresh water in the inshore, you can't catch a fish. And the offshore has been so windy until today. Right. So we're hoping for a great day. We're gonna, do, we're gonna concentrate on bottom fishing because the pelagic bite has seemed off from our network of friends. So just letting you guys know, you know how we decided to do things. And we've seen people catching muttons and it just seems like the best bet. We got some dead bait and we're gonna try and catch some ballyhoo and then take it from there. Yeah, so we're just hoping to get some type of fish in the boat today, but we're just gonna have to see how the day goes and we're bringing you guys along. All right, coming up to the bait spot here. I am running a rope through one of these buoys that are over here at the spot we just showed up to and I'm gonna tie it to the boat. So yeah, we just came up to one of these buoys. This is actually can be found on the Fish Angler app. If you guys are already on the app, but go there. This is right in front of the breakers. And there's lots of buoys here for diving and stuff, especially during the summer. But you can also catch live bait here. So that's what we're doing. I've anchored up and attached the rope here. And we're gonna get some chum out. And hopefully we're gonna catch some live bait. We have, we have no current, which is not usually a good thing. All right, guys, we're catching some bait and a couple nice mangroves here. As Darcy said before, there was like no current. And so the ballyhoo has been a little tough to catch, but Darcy's catching him on a single hook and we got this little ballyhoop and uh, we're catching a couple of times like that. So we got quite a few. And then we caught some keeper mangroves. I was using shrimp for when our boat broke the other day. So we're really making lemons out of lemonade here. Like we literally have dinner for mangroves already. And yes. plenty of ballyhoo for bait. So we're just waiting for this chum to dry up and then we're gonna do some more fishing. Real but fish. I'm pretty happy already. Woo, there's one. Woo! Get him to catch him, Chisel. Got one, got one, got one. Gotta use super light leader in order to catch these guys. They're very, very smart. Make sure you use the hook remover, but you don't want to touch these ballyhoos at all. Took your best load yet. She just loaded up with the net. It's like six. Yeah, that's awesome. Woo, woo. This is from Ballyhoop. Thanks guys for sending it to us. Yes. It works great. We have a ton of current and also works oh, great no. when you don't have current. So you just you let the chum, with, with that Ballyhoop, we have a little video on it. And basically yes. you, you put the chum out and then you let the net just float back and then you reel it in. It really, works really awesome as you just saw. Yeah, you just do it real slow. And then once the school of fish like come through next to the net, you just reel it in as slow as you can with chum out and it keeps them in the area. And usually you can load up pretty decent. So that was the best yet. Yeah, if we, if we had more current and a little bit better spot, um, particularly more current, I mean, we'd get like a couple dozen at a shot, which we have before, so it works real good. Nice. Oh, you know, oh, oh, oh. Oh, get him up, get him up. He's under the rocks. Nice job. That's a solid one, Brian. Yes. Woo! Yeah. You guys see that? He's so fat. He's full so of chum. full of chum. Don't you puke on me. Nice. That's Look awesome. at that. Mangroves are just as smart as Ballyhoo. They can see the line. They like to run you into the rocks. That's Boys. dinner. Not a, not a monster, but a perfectly edible. I mean, the, the minimum is 10 inches uh, fork length. I mean, full length. So, it, you know, this is like a 13. Oh, nice. Get him up. That's a nice mangrove. I see him. Oh, nice, Brian. Killing it. He's all fat, too. Woo! Nice one. Nice one. I'm slaying the bait, Brian. Slaying our dinner. We use a mustad circle hook. This is about a 4-0 circle hook. Nice sizzle on the bait. <laughs> she's just happy catching bait right now. I'm trying to get out of here and go catch some other fish. But I she's, have to catch bait. She just loves the bait. But you can use these ballyhoo for trolling, obviously. We're going to use them right now for live bait on the bottom and for on the top for some sailfish. And uh, tomorrow or the next day, they'll be great dead bait for the bottom and 
Just like I mentioned, for trolling and rigging up all kinds of Sorry. stuff. And uh, we can catch Wahoo on that. So this is really, you know, we're using all the resources out here. This is how girls pay the boat, everybody. We're moving on to the next spot. Brian's only caught the good fish today. Yeah, I caught all the fish today so far. Yeah. That's how I roll. Tailfish! 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 He's coming to the boat! He's coming to the boat! No! He's off. I don't think I did anything wrong, but nope. that fish, you saw what he did. I mean, he was, as soon as he ate that bait, he just started thrashing with this bill all over the place. Did it, figure eight, went back the other way. And I was trying to catch up to him because there was a big belly in the line. And I think he just eventually shook it off. Actually, this is exactly what happened. He went back and got wrapped on our other flat line. Popped us right off in between the two weights. That sucks. Whoa, big wake. All right, y'all, we are back at the house, and as you can see, it is late, and I'm outside, and we are with last light. Sun has already set, so we are going to try to get this done as fast as I possibly can and show you guys what we're going to do today. We are going to be cooking these beautiful mangrove snappers whole. Whole fish is a great way to cook smaller fish like this. It's actually more flavorful, and you're going to get a lot more meat out of it, and I'm excited. So what we're going to do here to cook a fish whole, and it can be any size, snapper in particular are great fish to cook whole. You're gonna take a pair of really sharp shears and you're gonna start cutting off their fins. And you want sharp shears because you gotta cut through all those spines, the top of their dorsal fin, pec fins, and so on. So that's off. Cut off the pec fins. Another pec fin. The anal fins. And this one has a really sharp bone right here, and you almost have to break it. This knife, this is brand new scissors, and it was really hard to, to cut that just now. Then these. Okay. So we just removed all those fins. I'm gonna leave the tail on just for show. I mean, you might as well remove it, but I'm gonna leave it on. Oh well. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my four inch bait breaker knife from Smith's Consumer Products. And don't forget about my coupon code, guys. You've received 15% off all of their products on their website with my code, DARSIZZLE15, 15% off plus free shipping. Doesn't get better than that. So what you wanna do is take, I'm taking a small knife. It's easier to work with a small fish. Make a cut right up here. I guess I don't know what you call this area. Cut straight down so you open up this area. And you can get in there and get the gills out. Now what I'm gonna do is take the knife and kind of cut innards, inwards and like get all the way where those gills are and get on the outside of them and cut inwards. So you can kind of just rip them out. So now that I did that, I've already separated that whole piece. Should just pull right out. Oh, look at that. I just pulled out a ton of his gills too. I mean, ton of his guts too, it's perfect. <laughs> awesome. So now that we've separated that, what you wanna do next is you wanna make another cut and I'm gonna start up here by their anal hole and make the cut all the way up to gut the fish. So, open it up. And you got all the guts in here. And get in there with your fingers. Don't be afraid to get dirty. And get the guts out. This is like stomach lining right here, so I'm just gonna slice that out. I'll clean that up later with the hose, but you can see basically all the innards are removed. Good to go on that. The last step would be to scale the fish, and one of you awesome fans of mine sent me my first fish scaler, as I don't have an official one yet, and that was in our Merry Christmas video. If you didn't see that, we did some unboxings. So it's gonna take it and start scaling it, and it's gonna be like snow. There's gonna be scales going everywhere. And the one thing you wanna pay attention to, guys, is when you're scaling fish, doesn't matter what kind of fish it is, you really wanna pay attention to getting the, the scales off by the head, especially. A lot of people will miss that, especially like fishmongers if you buy a fish at a fish market. So you just wanna really make sure you get it all up here. They have scales all in their chin area. So that's just one tip I would like to give you. Make sure you get everything nice and thorough. 
And then this fish will be ready to cook. So I'm just going to finish scaling them on both sides, which I'm almost done on this side now. And then he's gonna get rinsed off with fresh water, clean his insides, clean them all up, ready to go. And then we're gonna go in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Another great job, Dar Sizzle, cleaning those fish for our fish fry today. Thank you so much. You're awesome as always. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. Here in 2020, I am totally styling in my chef outfit. Thank you very much, Aunt Pat. That's Darcy's Aunt Pat, her dad's sister. Uh, as you can know, we're cooking these mangroves, complete mangrove in the fryer. I'm gonna wok fry them. Uh, we got this recipe from Captain Pete, who we fished with the other day, actually today. And, uh, and we've been with him many times on the channel. You've seen him, you've seen him. And he told me to fry him whole. And we're gonna do it in a wok. I also have a fryer, but we're gonna mix it up. Kind of like, a, this is like a Thailand style, I guess you'd say. So Darcy cleaned him up, you saw that. Now I am going to give him a little cross cut. Watch this. Just cut him like this, not down to the bone. Not all the way down to the bone. So you gotta be a little careful. And we're just gonna go both ways like this. I guess this is gonna add the, a little more flavor in there. These aren't the biggest fish. And I see that nice cross hatch on there. Now these mangroves, I want to remind you, Darcy mentioned the fish angle wrap and that, that really was a great spot. Now you guys can bring your kids there. It was like 30 feet deep and we caught all those little ballyhoo of course, but also all these mangroves and runners. I've caught monster jacks before. So check out that app, it has nice spots on there. And if you're local, you can go to the breakers and, and go up on one of those balls, super easy. And your kids can catch a ton of fish all day long, super easy. All right, so now I'm going to coat these fish. Next step. I've created a flour-based coating with just using, of course, flour. And girls keep flour in these containers, I'm not sure why. I also added salt and white pepper. Oh, white pepper. And a little cayenne pepper, all right? I just did that to taste, and it's a little spicy for you, Darcy, so I'm sorry. But okay. I think once you fry it, it's gonna be fine. So we're gonna coat the fish. We're gonna coat the fish both sides, nice. Oh, a little mess. Now, I've never done this before. We're just gonna throw it in the fryer here. You don't wanna throw it. <laughs> and here we go. How long? I'm not really sure. We're gonna wait till it's golden brown. I mean, it's a very small fish. All right, guys. <laughs> Let's be honest. So first time doing this, after a little bit of trial and error, cooking our first fish, and I also burned my lip for you. See, I do the mistakes so you guys don't have to. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. Uh, we're gonna cook these fish for about four to five minutes, depending on the size. I just did that small one for about three or four minutes, and it came out great. So now let's do the big one. Slide it in slow. Darcy said, don't throw it. Five minutes. Welcome back, that's about five minutes. Let's see how it comes out. Ooh, look at that guys, you can see the hatches. Look. Look at that. All right, I'm just gonna cook this last one and we'll see you at the table for the taste test. All right, Darth Dizzle, how's it look? Looks freaking delicious. I think you did a good job. <laughs> did a good job. So? Always trying something new over here. Whoa. Whoa, how's it exploding? Every time I have a, you probably shook it up and gave it to no. me. No. You guys remember what happened to the Christmas video? I did not. Let's see if this one explodes. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. It's fine. This one's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I put a little bit of butter on mine, but you can put like soy sauce or anything you want. Dive in, Sizzle. I'm doing it. <laughs> so the skin is actually supposed to be good to eat too. Yeah. So I'm gonna eat the skin right now. Which I've never done in my life, eat the fish, skin of a fish. Really good, I think it's quite juicy. He put butter on it to make it more juicy, I guess, but it's like- I like butter. It's really succulent and like, it doesn't need anything. It's like, it's really good. No, you get a yeah. lot more flavors, it's more savor, savorful, savor, savorful, is that how you say it? Um, in your mouth, and the actual skin is crunchy. It tastes good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, the 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 meat is as moist as you could ever want it because it's fried. That happens, and the outside the, and the skin is like crispy, so it's really nice. 
Yeah, delicious. This is an awesome way to cook fish. We should definitely do it more often. Especially because you can like get so much more meat out of it too. Yeah, you know, especially if you have a smaller fish, this is a great idea because you, you can eat the whole fish. You don't waste any meat. Like if you fillet it, even though Darcy does the best job in the whole wide world, um, you, you know, you're gonna lose some meat. And so, you know, this is a great method. And you know, I think that's why it's used in a lot of other countries more. Like this is a, I guess it's a Thailand recipe or something I was, I was just reading online or whatever. Yeah. And of course, other countries aren't as wasteful as us Americans. Right. They eat, they eat everything. They do um, this on a regular basis. Like, right. whole fish is a thing. Yeah. Like, we should totally do this over here. We're spoiled. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> absolutely. Look at what's left. Just the bones. It goes down right down the bones. I mean, yeah. You, you, eat, it, you it eat it right down to the bone. Yeah, look at right, that. Look at that. That's so sick. So none is wasted. Yep. And, you know, we spend a ton of money on fishing. Everybody does. And, you know, just... You know, save the resource and eat as much as you can. Exactly, exactly. So you wanna wrap it up, our sizzle? Yes, we are back to our normal fishing, so hopefully you guys won't see any more throwback videos. We just had tough luck this past month. Especially mainly I've been so busy in the house doing other things besides fishing, like my orders. And those 2020 cal calendars are still available. Go get them while you still can because I'm running out fast. fast. I'm not ordering them anymore, I'm done. Uh, it, it was a great sale and you guys supported me so much this year. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot that you guys so, like gave me so many orders. It was insane. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do next year, but I got to figure it out. So <laughs> thank you all for watching. And this month we have a lot of action packed videos coming up. So don't miss out. Subscribe. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.